Today we're going to look at five ornamental grasses that are great for your fall landscape. So some of the nice things about adding these varieties, you're going to get great garden texture all summer long, and then you're going to get a brilliant display in fall to really help close your garden down for the year. You can leave these plants standing in winter, and they're going to add some great winter interest as well. Uh, a lot of nice things about ornamental grasses. The ones we're looking at today also do well in really tough soils. So if you have heavy clay or if you have issues with inconsistent water, drought, ornamental grasses, that's your niche. Those are some plants that you need to check out. So the first one we're going to talk about, this is Panicum Niagara Falls. It is in the Prairie Winds collection from Proven Winners. It has really good size and body. We're only getting up into that five foot height. The foliage, all summer long, you're going to have this beautiful blue cascading foliage. And then starting in late August, we get all of these seed heads that come up. Right now, they're tinged a little bit of a rosy red for just a little bit of added interest. This is a native grass. This is a native switchgrass. Great prairie plant. Definitely one to check out. The next one we have, this is a Calamagrostis, so a feather reed grass. This one is called Hello Spring. So if you're familiar with Carl Forrester, this is very similar to that. Has a little bit extra though, a little bit of variegation to the foliage. There's a white margin on each leaf. Uh, still really good vigor in this plant. And as you can see, excellent seed heads, very rigidly upright, very sturdy. This is a warm season grass, so it bloomed all the way back in July, and we've had these seed heads for the entire time. Uh, this one in particular also makes an excellent cut flower if you want to take some of those and snip them uh, as part of your fall decor. So that is Calamagrostis uh, Hello Spring. Third, we have another switchgrass. This one is called Totem Pole, also in the Prairie Winds collection from Proven Winners. You can see quite a bit different. This one taller, doesn't have as much color to the seed heads, but still a really good floral display. You can see more still coming on. And this one has an excellent vase type habit, very rigidly upright, columnar in the garden, not as much of that cascading foliage. So here, if you want to put a lot of height in a narrow space, uh, totem pole might be the grass for you. Then we have another native grass. This is an andropogon, or a big blue stem. This variety is called Blackhawks. Comes to us from Intrinsic Gardens. Uh, this one, if you want some of that dark foliage color, Blackhawks is the plant for you. Also does great in really tough soils. Really good size on this one. And then you get all of these cool seed heads, these turkey foot seed heads that come on in late summer. So that is Andropogon Blackhawk. We have a Sorgastrum. This one is called Golden Sunset, and you can really see why. This one comes to us from the University of Minnesota. So it's very cold hardy as well. You can grow this one all the way up reliably in zone four. Nice skirt of foliage around the base. And then in late summer, you get all of these tall, very traditional looking seed heads that come up. And as this grass ages, you get this brilliant yellow gold color to come on. It's called a yellow prairie grass, and you can imagine why when you see this foliage color or the stem color. So those are our five ornamental grasses that you should consider adding to your garden if you need some good size to your garden in late fall.